Reddick is at the free throw line. Hits a pair of free throws. Back to 13. But because the Celtics have so much three-point shooting, it's not like you can count. And that's Rashard Lewis's fifth foul. That's a big foul. Second team foul, so Boston will inbounds. Bortat is going to come into the game with 8.06 remaining here in the fourth. Post play is difficult to referee. Rondo sets it up. Rondo's the high scorer in the game with 19. Had a big third quarter. Wallace not even close. Crowd delighting in the air ball. Williams, five points, five assists. And a foul on Rashid Wallace. That's number five. And again, they're in the penalty, so Howard's going to go to the free throw line. Two guys trying to jockey for position. Wallace calmly trying to get it from Joe Crawford. So he's got five. And again, Perkins is out, ejected. Glenn Davis is done for the night with a concussion. If Wallace fouls out, they'd have to put Kevin Garnett on Howard. The tough part about it is you got to be able to defend guys on the block. You got to meet force with force. And those, like you talked about, Coach, those are tough plays to referee. But you got to give guys some leeway to try to battle. Free throw shooting. They're 20 of 24. Howard's been okay, three for five, but misses two there. And you wonder when you're down, if you're Doc Rivers, you don't start fouling him right now, Howard, but at some point you may want to start to foul him to see if you can. Nice play from Jameer Nelson. Do the hat to Howard. Or you say not right now, I say why not? He's fresh off of missing two. He's a notorious bad free throw shooter. I would force him to go to the line again. The problem is, who's taking the fouls? It's shorthanded enough. There's Allen trying to get on track. Three on the shot clock. Allen can't get it to go. Howard, his eighth rebound. He's got five blocks tonight, 17 points, and there's the hack of Howard. As Rondo fouls him for Rondo, that's his fourth, and Howard's going to go to the line. And you look on the on the floor right now for the Celtics, Ray Allen just one foul. It would be smarter for Ray Allen to be the guy committing that foul rather than Rondo picking up his fourth. But I like the strategy by Doc Rivers. Force a bad free throw shooter. Let's see if you can make it. Give us a chance to get stops and score. They can do this up until two minutes remaining in the quarter. Then the rule changes to an away from the plate foul. Well, then it's free throw and possession of the ball. Howard hit his first two. But now one for his last five. And I think if you're Stan Van Gundy, if Dwight Howard does not make his free throws as we take a look at his numbers, it forces you to put somebody else in the ball game because you want to eliminate this strategy by the Celtics. Well, he's 10 for 25 the last three games. 40%. All you really have to do is get some splits like this. You don't have to make them both. Give yourself a chance because the one thing the hack of Howard takes away is Boston's transition offense. So they're going to be playing half-court offense. Pierce. Wallace, that's a three. Gets it to go. Big basket there for Wallace. Magic had equal their largest lead of the game. And once again, the hack of Howard. That's good offense by the Celtics. Bad defense from the Magic. You don't want a double team. They have surrounded Paul Pierce with shooters on the perimeter. And they're continuing to stay. And this time is Ray Allen, the guy committing the foul. And you see Rondo alerting the official to let him know, hey, this is what we're doing. Look at it. So Howard back there to the line. Second foul on Ray Allen. Well, you got to love Howard stepping up. Trying to knock it down. It's been such a frustration 
form at times his free throw shooting well it takes all fatigue out of the game now for both teams because they're going to be free throw shots all the time so it's not like anybody's going to be fatigued back to back free throws our little fist pump by the way, Marquise Daniels done for the night. Another concussion for the Celtics. So Davis and Daniels both out with concussions. Pierce on the drive. Wallace fakes, now falls away, and puts it in. Wallace, another from downtown. The lead cut to 10. Tough shot by Rasheed Wallace, and another breakdown by the Magic defense. You cannot help off of shooters. Jameer Nelson answers back. Nelson. From downtown, a 13-point Orlando lead. And I love that shot. The reason why is because you're sending a message. We're not trying to go four corners. We're going to stay aggressive. Ball deflected by Petrus, but goes to Rondo. Deflected again by Petrus. Stolen by Carter. Nice pass. Throws it down. Largest lead of the game for the Orlando Magic. away by Howard and a kick ball with five on the shot clock so they'll reset it to 14 and we'll take a break Dwight Howard and the Magic have fired up these fans here tonight in Orlando Been waiting for him. and the magic with another strong performance now in control of 15 point lead with 547 remaining trying to come back from down 3-0 Celtics have been in that position before in their storied history taking a 3-0 lead in the best of seven series they usually wrap it up in five games and if the magic can hold on it'll go to six and it'll be back in Boston on Friday night you know, interestingly enough, coming out of that timeout, Rondo looks at Ray Allen to let him know we're still fouling Dwight Howard, even though he made his previous two foul shots. Garnett flips it up. Nelson the rebound. And also, Tony Allen, before that timeout, was checking in for Paul Pierce. And Paul Pierce, as Nelson hits another three, wanted to keep playing. 18-point lead right now for the Magic. Mistake made because as Jameer Nelson was lifting to that shot, Ray Allen actually fouled Dwight Howard, got away with it. Wallace gets it inside with 5.13 remaining. And now he's hurting. Wallace grimacing. They foul. Again, Ray Allen fouls Howard. How about Jameer Nelson? Second straight strong game at 23 points, 9 assists in game 4. And here in game five, 22 points, five assists. But nobody picks him up because Rondo is saying foul Dwight Howard. Actually, Ray Allen does it in the act of shooting. Smart play by Jameer Nelson. And, and Ray, Ray did it on his first foul, too. He bumped him instead of wrapping him up and making it obvious. So Howard back to the line again. Not that time. Reminder, tomorrow night on TNT, the Western Conference Finals, Game 5 from L.A. Suns and Lakers all tied at two apiece. And then on Friday night, it's starting to look like we'll be in Boston for Game 6. Our coverage will begin at 7.30 on ESPN. Howard one for two this time. It's a pat on the butt from Carter. Rondo pushing. Garnett left open. Part of the rebound. Under five to play. Not fouling Howard this time. Wallace can. He's got the five personals. Now he's done. Wallace is fouled out of the game. Sheldon Williams is going to make an appearance with all the foul problems and injuries for Boston. They didn't like the call.